Expanses of sand and stark skylines with rocky outcrops only add to this impression. But there are animals here. Some hide themselves beneath the sand. While others, like this fringe-toed lizard, live more openly, close to desert shrubs, which offer food, shade and shelter. Even here, constant vigilance is required, for danger may come from anywhere. Whether it's hunting is successful or not, the sandbar quickly returns to the safety of its own environment. Most reptiles, including this toad-headed agonid, hunt visually. Responding only to the movement of their prey. Shrubs also provide protection and food for many desert rodents. These Libyan jerds are the largest of Kuwait's rodents. They are the only ones to venture out during the day to search for food. Rodents have relatively short lives, but can reproduce quickly. Their populations are also closely linked to the food supply. In years of good rainfall and abundant plant growth, the number of rodents increases. Some jerds look for food on the ground, while others take to the bushes, stripping them of their fresh young shoots. In years of meager rainfall, there is less vegetation and the number of rodents is reduced. 
some die of starvation, and additionally, fewer are born. While predation also takes its toll. Arabian rear-fanged snakes feed on rodents and will sometimes attempt to catch them out in the open. Once the warning has been given, the snake has little chance of surprising them. And tries to find them in their burrows, using its tongue to sense their presence. scent produces an instant response, and the snake hammers and chisels its way into the ground, down to the burrow just below the surface. spectacular birds seen in Kuwait. Most are migrants, traveling between their northern breeding areas and their southern overwintering ones. Some of these migrants pause here in order to feed and recover from the rigors of their long distance travel.